Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Bat Friends Podcast, episode number 22, where two friends rediscover an anime classic. I am one of your hosts, Chris, alongside the world champion, Joe. Howdy ho. What's happening, Joe? Living my best life. We haven't recorded in a while. You no, know, it's been far too long. I went on adventures. None of you know that we haven't recorded in a while. Well, you do now, but... If we hadn't told you, you wouldn't have known. It would have been theater of the mind! Don't go in there. I had Taco Bell for dinner. I'll do that line every time. I don't give a fuck. It's hilarious. It's great. So I love this episode. Mm -hmm. Um, Joker's Favor, episode 22. Directed by Boyd Kirkland and written by Paul Dini. Which is why it's great, because Paul Dini wrote it. I'm noticing that Boyd Kirkland does a lot of this. It seems like he's a go-to director. He's someone they can trust. So we get a very special first appearance. For us, at least. First appearance in podcast. That's how we can do it now. Even if we're wrong, like even if in production order it's not, it's first appearance of Bat Friends. Yep, yeah, that's what we're doing. Go. I also love the premise of this episode. Well, because it's also great because it's... We'll get to it. <laughs> this motherfucker is just miserable. He bitch if you hung him with a new rope. This is what Bob said to me. First thing. Meatloaf is shits delicious. On, right. He shits on meatloaf. You don't shit on fucking meatloaf. I want meatloaf right now. I always hated that in shows where they complain about dinner and it's going to be meatloaf. Like, yep. meatloaf is fucking delicious. Yeah. That actually comes up in an episode, I think, next week's, which will be late at this point, Joe Meets World. It's very convoluted, so I'm not going to explain it, but. Meatloaf's involved. Charlie Collins! I love that Joker has, like, luggage on the top of his (laughs) car, too. And also, it's just like, this is just a warning to kids, too. Like, oh, kids, you know, when you just, you've had enough, you think you're gonna make a message? Well, guess what? You're gonna fuck with the Joker. (laughs) (laughs) He's so mad. He is. Hasn't realized it's Joker yet. And then I just love Joker like, hey, buddy, how we doing? <laughs> this is the moment where he's just like, oh, I, I done fucked up. Look at my fingers. Hi. Just wanted to say hi. <laughs> also, let's note, Batman's searching for the Joker. Batman is far ahead of them in traffic. <laughs> Batman's a terrible detective. Well, this is early years Batman. Because as you remember, there's a time jump coming yeah, up. Yeah, but I, and I love this too, that then Joker starts to make sure to signal. <laughs> like, I'm going to put on my turn to signal, and I'm going to hand signal. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're going to get into it when Joker starts yelling at him. But what I love is this also reinforces something that we've noticed with the kid. Joker hates Rude people. Yeah. Joker believes it doesn't matter if you want to kill everyone, you should be well mannered about it. Because <laughs> he's not mad about it. He's mad that Charlie yelled at him and tried to cut him off. <laughs> <laughs> I do love the the hat. Yes, yeah, absolutely. It's one of my favorite Joker looks. The fucking almost pork pie, and then the car just overheats because of course it does. It's because this dude drove through a fence and, like, is driving like a maniac. Well, it's also how you know it's the 30s. Yeah. I never noticed the oil in whatever's leaking, too. That's great. Oh, hide behind this tree. There's no way you can find me. I'm the Joker. I have pennies. (laughs) What are those shoes? See, my rude friend. We can't have people cursing each other on the freeway. <laughs> Just, it's not polite. I love this joker that he will murder people for being impolite. You didn't use your salad fork. <laughs> I like to believe that he was on his way to a big heist, too. That's what all the luggage was for. Right, those like he were, was really going to pull something. Those were like dolls full of gas or something. Like, he had something going on. He's like, nope, I got to teach this dude a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I 
god. And I also love the Wallet. idea of <laughs> love the idea of I'm gonna ask you for a favor. It might not be tomorrow. It might not be this year. But when I call you, I'm getting that favor. Because I'm the Joker. I also love that too. I don't have much cash. Please don't insult me. Joker don't give a fuck about money. No, because he's rich. Or just uh, he's an anarchist. <laughs> you don't care. Chuckers. He calls him Chaz at one point, which is hilarious because I, I, my, my hetero life mate is Chuck, and his mom calls him Cha- Char. But he's also been called Chaz by a few people, and I always forget that Chaz is a nickname for Charles. <laughs> Char is also a weird nickname for Charles, but I like it better. Yeah. Because at least it's in the name. It makes more sense. Yeah. It's kind of like the Dick Robert thing. like. Yeah. Well, yeah, but then there's Jack for John. Yeah. Or Jack for Jonathan, because then John is short for Jonathan. And it's just, yeah. That never makes sense. Two years later. Time jump. Or anyone that spells Chris with a K, you all can burn out. I was just going to say Clock King is with a five-year jump. Because I was like, I thought it was five years. Nope, that's Clock King. Yeah. Spoiler alert. I looked up what this fucking thing is uh, at the uh, Peregrinators Club. You know, what, you know what a Peregrinator is? No. Just a person that travels. Like, that's the word for it. Like, What? <laughs> Why do you need a club for it? Why is Batman just hanging out in the commissioner's office? Well, you know. Bullock took all the donuts. Where else was he going to go? <laughs> There's also that, too. I'm the night shift. You handle this 24 hours a day. But if you're night shift, he wouldn't be handling 24 <laughs> hours a day because you're night shift. See, Joker just is all about skills. Harley! Sorry, I love Harley. <coughs> Still it my favorite outfit for Harley, too. Yes. No, it's better. I don't I don't like slutty Harley. Which I'm listen, you want anyone wants to be a slut, that is a badge of honor. I just think it's better that Harley is almost childlike in her glee because she should be she's a genius like like Joker is. And this episode establishes that. She has agency in this episode. Yeah. She's not just all beat up by Joker. Like, she has chosen to be this evil bitch. <laughs> well, she fits the theme, too. Yeah, it's all about themes. And then I love this, too, where it's just like... Time to adventures. Yep, perfect. <laughs> like, hey, dumbass, we're supposed to clap. Oh, okay, good job, boys. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I forgot. I made a note of it. The exit Charlie pulls off on says getaway exit. Because <laughs> <Yep. laughs> I saw that and was like, that's brilliant. That's the other thing I've noticed. I don't think it's a lot in this episode, but I noticed it heavy in this batch of episodes. They're sneaking a lot more um, comic creators in. I'll call them like, out when I get to them, but like their names and stuff, uh, or the names of streets, or it's names on files. I got it. Oh no, Joker's got you. Hello, Charlie. My name's Don. It's the Joker. Really? What do you think was going to happen, Charlie? Oh, I'm sorry, wrong number. I just don't think it's written on a pad to change name to Don Wallace. <laughs> he owes me a favor. <laughs> I also love the idea that Harley cuts his hair. That's why he's not rich. He has his girlfriend cut his hair. <laughs> No, that's no, no, no. A, that's poor man move. That's, that's why man. he's rich. Because <laughs> he don't waste money on shit like that, like the rest of us. Charlie Brown. I like the joke. I love the idea. Him like, <laughs> booked him tickets. <laughs> love the idea that this guy cut Joker off. He made this whole fuss about it. <laughs> Had the sense to change his name. Move across the country. But Joker not Gotham. only remember that Charlie owes him a favor, but he has been following this dude for two years. Joker's all about commitment. For this moment. That's why Joker is Batman's one true love. Because Joker is not afraid of commitment. <laughs> he loves commitment. And this is also where we establish, no, 
Harley's face is not horribly disfigured like Joker's. It's just makeup. How do you have a ring of bookies? <laughs> I don't think that's really how that works. <laughs> Maybe there's like one main bookie. It's like a pimp situation. No. There's a pimp bookie. No. No. No? No. Okay. No. Wouldn't work. So that's just the muscle. You just have the muscle and force all the small. We'll figure this out. Don't yeah. worry. With the vig. Charlie, hi! But yeah, so her, she is not horribly disfigured like Joker. Yeah. She just wears makeup. <laughs> he's got pictures of him. <laughs> and he's so happy. It's like, it's just, this is the Joker we deserve. He's terrifying because he's hilarious. <laughs> Harley just this, being Harley. This plan is just fantastic. Checkers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just like we got to show that word again. Kids don't know what it means. Nobody's ever used it in their life, but sure. I love this crazy clown catering. I love everything about this. You're in Gotham. I, also I wouldn't hire anyone called crazy clown catering. Oh, I'm just didn't, saying. They didn't hire him. <laughs> He just wants Charlie to open the door. That's why he's got to open the door, because they weren't actually working the job. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you brought me here to open a door? Look at the size of the cake. <laughs> Who else is going to do it? That's in, That's how you write insanity, everybody. <laughs> Laser focus on a detail that makes no sense. And no bullock. <laughs> Oh, look, there's the handful of and my toy is just glaring at him. He's like, what's the problem? <laughs> it's food. <laughs> so Bruce is there. Meaning Batman's there. If not for Charlie, Bruce would just be like, whatever, just left. <laughs> and the Joker would have got away with it because Bruce don't give a fuck. <clears throat> there's just some way to call Batman. Hmm. I wonder if there's a giant bat in here somehow. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm so glad there's a giant bat. And I took all those crane classes in clown college. <laughs> like, hmm. hmm How's this pull thing the lever, work? turn the wheel. What? <laughs> oh, I did summer stock. Oh, okay. And... Bruce doesn't even notice it. <laughs> Who notices it? Alfred. <laughs> Alfred's a real hero. He is. Huh? It's a bat. Alfred's even reminding him, Joker's on the loose. Maybe you should do something about that. Nah. Why would the Joker hate <laughs> Commissioner Gordon? <laughs> There's no... Fuck it. Oh, boy. <laughs> you eating that roll much? <laughs> like, I just love it. So, that's who should play Harvey Bullock. So we're gonna get Twilight. Oh, this this is this is arousing to me. If we're gonna get Twilight Batman, Vince Vaughn should play Bullock because Vince Vaughn loves eating in scenes. So I want him to truly play Bullock. He just needs to be grabbing food. See now, this is why Harley has agency. Bullock's being a creep, and Harley just whacks him in the shin with a fucking baton. <laughs> and my toy is like, get it. Get it, girl. <laughs> Charlie did his job. Yup. Who put the glue on the door? <laughs> like, who put the glue on the door? <laughs> and if they put the glue on the door, they couldn't have opened the door? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to watch Harley just shake. Like, just shaking her ass, literally. <laughs> the candles. Like, there's a lot of work that's that goes a, into this. Yeah, that's Here's some... the other thing I love. So Harley has the gas mask. Make sure to give Charlie a gas mask, even though they're about to blow him up. <laughs> Joker knows he's gonna blow him up. Spoiler alert. 
Joker, <laughs> Joker jumping out of a cake is great with his hat because no uh, gas everyone's mask. well, his gas is all gone. She ain't got a gas mask either. <laughs> He had an oxygen tank in the cake. <laughs> Every girl crazy about a sharp dressed man. That is why Joker has that hat. Yes. I need to get a hat like that. You do. That's purple like that. <laughs> Joker brand Joker bombs. <laughs> so here's the. <laughs> I watched this. Oh, his eyes I watched this and I really went, you know what? It's almost worth it just to get a little loving from Harley. <laughs> No, I don't know what that, like, derpy-looking cat is up there, but you notice I'm just like... <laughs> no! Yes. They won't show it again now, but there's just... <laughs> Sayonara, sucker! You made sure the gas didn't get him. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's funnier if he's the only one that can move. I mean, it is, but... <laughs> There's also... Oh, you can open the window, the, the skylight from the outside. That's a design flaw. <laughs> oh, okay. Because it's, yeah, it's all the trophies. Yeah. Hmm. Well, if I just wrap this here and then... Poof! Yeah, sure, that'll work. Macrame is nice. Love that line. Don't care. <laughs> Well, we were stealing stuff, boss. <laughs> he blew up my van. <laughs> I love that. Well, just stay inside. That is fine. <laughs> what is that spray? There is something like that that breaks down <laughs> blue. It really is. I don't know why Batman has it in his belt, but you know. He must get glued to doors very often. <laughs> That's the issue. That's the comic. The DC doesn't have the guts to <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just, but like it's frozen just about to take a bite <laughs> <laughs> Batman getting glued to doors all the time that'd be amazing <laughs> and we're also now we're getting batterings yes I did notice that King Tut King Tut <laughs> Hmm, 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 hmm. Uh, uh, knives. Oh no, it's Batman. Mm. <laughs> I'll let you go if you just touch it a little bit. <laughs> Appears in the thing like that. Led astray by bad Kimp. Like, I love that too. This is what I love. She wasn't brainwashed by Joker. She's a maniac. <laughs> but she got handcuffed. I'll be back for you later. Of course, Batman has handcuffs. Beauty school is starting to look pretty good about now. <laughs> Beauty school dropout. <laughs> Why is there a giant Aztec temple in the middle of this place? Where else would you put a giant Aztec temple? <laughs> Functioning giant Aztec temple. Why would you ever build booby traps into something you're going to keep for the kitties? <laughs> Completely accurate. Right down to the poison tip dots. <laughs> what? <laughs> and then you literally just, ah, my cape will get it. It's fine. Also not sure how that pendulum works, but whatever. Away, and I just like, fuck this temple. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but trouble. <laughs> just skimpering away. I just thinking the same thing. Why are there poison tip darts in here? <laughs> this though is great. Come on, Charlie. You're a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. He, he punches Joker and knocks him down. Joker, we've watched jump. On a moving roller coaster, 
go toe to toe with the Batman, and Charlie sucker punch the fuck out of him. <laughs> Charlie at this point has lost his damn mind. Yep. But you know what? It's also great because you really. This is where you really see Joker, where it's just like, and like Charlie gets him. We're like, no grand bat fight battle with Batman. Just some schlub that hates meatloaf's gonna blow you the fuck up. <laughs> you know how long it's been since my wife touched my dick? <laughs> I don't. I can't even remember. <laughs> what if I give you Harley? <laughs> <laughs> I love that too. You start yelling for Batman. Great, Paul. You are a genius. I love this. Just Joker, just when the chips are down. Batman, save me, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> just so happy to see his long lost love. Yup. And then what's he do? This is so they're just fighting again. Just you know, uh, uh, it's the only way my family stays safe. Here's my file on him. Like what? Batman's like hmm. How hot's his wife? Yeah. This is also where Joker's a bully. You're no fun anymore. What's he do? He jumps behind Batman. Huh? Boom. Perfect. I love anytime an explosion just says boom. <laughs> and then, greatest moment ever. About to happen. Charlie's... Ha- Batman laughs! <laughs> Batman thinks it's funny that Joker pissed his pants... Because some schlub threw a bomb at him. I love how Joker's line after that, too, is very <laughs> funny. <laughs> a million laughs. Even, no, not even Meatloaf. Meatloaf, meatloaf is, is fucking delicious. delicious. Fuck you, Charlie. I wish you had died <laughs> in the fucking glue accident. <laughs> the after credit scene is Darlie. Charlie dying of... Glue cancer. <laughs> no, he just goes home, lays down, wakes up the next day with a fucking Joker face on. Because it had Joker venom in it. <laughs> now, again, this is where we need to point out. Joker hasn't killed anybody. <laughs> He's definitely tried. I mean, kind of? <laughs> like... How much effort did he really put into that? He put a lot of effort to try to kill all of GCPD. But he also made the bomb small enough that Batman just shot it like 50 feet in the air and nothing <laughs> happened. Maybe he's really bad with bombs. Did you see all the TNT hit in that truck? <laughs> <laughs> he made a conscious choice. Okay, if Batman doesn't show up, they're all dead. If he shows up, maybe half. <laughs> I like the unpredictability of it all. <laughs> oh. uh, this is a fantastic see, episode. But see, I couldn't even, I can't say anything about a dick in this because it's just all about Joker's love for Batman. Yeah. Ultimately, that's all I can really, it's just, I mean, literally, he's just, Batman, save me! <laughs> it's all about Joker's that friend and Batman went off and had kids. Yep. And Joker's, Joker's like, just why won't like, you come out and play anymore? Yeah. So he just does something. He's like, well, I'm going to do this, and it's going to make you come out and play with me. Yep. Speaking of kids, where can people find it on the internet, Joe? Not anywhere with kids. <laughs> <laughs> Not since the restraining order. <laughs> I'm kidding. Fuck the Catholic Church. You can find me at JoePank.com. J-O-E-P-A-N-C. Look for Joe Meets World on your podcast apps. Um, for the love of God, touch it. Um, I don't know. That's all. I got no other funny webcast titles right now. I said webcast. Fuck yourself. Okay, you can find me at uh, Twitter on Twitter at Fortress Chris or FortressComedies dot com, where everything I do is right there in that handy dandy website. Do the likes, the subscribes, the shares, the six stars. Remember, no less than six stars. Um, it's not iTunes anymore. It's Apple Podcasts. No. Has it switched over yet? I don't think it's switched over yet. It's I going to switch over. We're going to go with Apple Podcasts just to be future proof. Wherever you find podcasts, that's where you'll find us. I'll be there. But remember, I Wherever want you... Wherever you find Meatloaf, I'll be there. It's true. I want you to hack Apple to give us six stars. If you don't do that, you're not a real fan. Or look up the address. Here's what you do. Look up the address for Apple Corporate. 
write them a kind letter saying, Dear sir or madam to whom it may concern, I would like, and then go to the store, buy gold star stickers, put six stars in that envelope with this letter. See, I would like to give the Bat Friends podcast six stars. Mail it to them with a self-addressed stamp envelope so that they can return those stars to you and you can create an unending cycle of six stars. I've just beaten the system. Attach that envelope to a package with a joker face attached to TNT. <laughs> no! The Bat Friends podcast in no way advocates blowing up Apple corporate. No. Speak for yourself, Joe. I am. Dear FBI, <laughs> Joe Pagrazio in no way endorses any acts of domestic terrorism against Apple corporate. Hugs and kisses, Joe. Listen, like, not big TNT, like, you know, little TNT. Like, maybe a room blows up. <laughs> See y'all next week. Or not.